Hello everybody, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and um, I've uh, got home from work today to find that I've got a small package arrived, which I've been waiting for for some time, which I hope is going to contain some extremely unusual and exotic seeds, or rare seeds, which I'm going to have a go at germinating. So, let's see if we manage to open the pack with one hand. Yes, we can. Let's weigh that down with something. Now, let's have a look and see what we've got in here. This is quite exciting for me. So bear with me because it's not easy to open these things with one hand and I might blow away in the wind. And we'll have a look what's here. Do the big reveal. Let's put my weights on everything else. Okay. So, the first one is... This is a Eugenia. Eugenia in Volucrata. Now I can't remember what the common name is but I'll have a look and put that on the video when I put it. Now interestingly I'm looking at these here and they appear to have some kind of damp material in there and in actual fact if you look down here some of these seeds look to have roots on them which is a bit of a surprise. I wasn't expecting that at all on this particular one. Let's turn over and have a look at the other side. Yeah, there's definitely uh, there's definitely roots on some of these, so these are going to have to be potted up pretty much instantly. What I might actually do is put a little bit of moisture. I think I'll put a little cocoa coir in there and a little bit of moisture, because I might not have a chance to pot these up properly to the weekend. So I think they need to be kept moist and with a little bit of compost around them. I'm not sure what this material is they've used. It looks some kind of like a giant vermiculite. So um, yep, yeah, so that's that. That first seed is Eugenia in Volucrata, and this is the reason I'm doing that other germination experiment with sweet sops and sour sops, because I wanted to get some practice in for some of these rare, unusual seeds I'm getting. So that's Eugenia. The next ones. Now this is Anona purpurea, which I haven't come across before. I believe it's also no, it's one of the Rolinia family as well. Anona purpurea. Don't know anything about it. It's not a normal cherimoya or cherimola or anything like that. So we're going to be having a go at giving these seeds a soak and have a go at germinating those. The next one is. Obsidium guajava Colombian red. So this is the Colombian red guava. It shouldn't cause me too much trouble. Oops. Seeds blowing away in the wind here. Shouldn't cause me too much trouble to germinate that. I hope. Uh, next one is Solanum Quito or Quito Ents. Now I think think that is the Naranjilla, if I remember rightly. It's the same family, obviously Solanum is the tomato and potato family, but it's the same family as the tree tomatoes. But I think this one I bought here, if I remember rightly, is Naranjilla. So I will put the common name on the video later when I edit it. So there's 10 of those seeds in there. Next one I've got is... Carica pubescent, pubescence, sounds a little bit rude, doesn't it? Now this is one of the mountain papayas. This should be a, a relatively hardy mountain papaya. It's not a babaco, uh, but it is it is one of the mountain papaya family. So obviously I'm going to have a go at soaking those and germinating those. That's Carica pubescence, and the last one, <coughs> which is also very rare to get seeds is Rosenbergiodendron formosum. Now this has this has a much more better known common name which again I've forgotten the name of because I've been a bit caught off guard by these coming. So I will check the common name on that and put that on the video as well. So that's Rosenbergiodendron formosum. So I'm going to have a good go at getting these. I'm going to soak these on Saturday and try and uh, try and sow them on Sunday. Well, what I might do is put them in 
little compost bags because I'm hoping by then I'll see how my sour sop and sweet sop germination experiments going which I did a few weeks ago so thanks for watching everybody that's my new seed rare seed arrival today I've been looking for some really unusual stuff which I've now managed to get and obviously I'll uh, let's put these all out in order now so it's nice and easy to see them Very pleased has arrived. We'll uh, give them a go, see what happens, and update you sometime in the future. Thanks everybody for watching. Much appreciate if you give me a thumbs up. Obviously, you can uh, share the video if you think anyone's interested. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell if you want to get updates and see how these seeds do in the future. Thanks for watching. Breath out for now.